just a year ago, sent a message that the Gators are for real and a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, these three favorites, plus Oklahoma, Oregon State, and Denver, battle for the Super 6 title. The season begins next. Coleman Coliseum here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, getting ready for NCAA Gymnastics. Tonight, we're expecting a crowd of 10,000 strong for the Super 6 Challenge. Hi again, everybody. I'm Chris Marlowe, and welcome to the unofficial start of the 2004 Women's Collegiate Gymnastics season. And what a way to kick it off, the Super 6 Challenge, the most prestigious regular season meet in the country. Our field, as usual, is star-studded. Six teams ranked in the top 20. Number two, Georgia. Number three, Alabama. Number seven, Florida. Rounding it out, three teams that want to be Oregon State, Oklahoma, and the University of Denver. Very happy to have working with me, Olympic medalist of yesteryear, Kathy Johnson Clark. Whenever Georgia and Alabama get together in anything, it is special. <laughs> this is a great rivalry. Even when they hate each other, they love each other. <laughs> because they get each other so pumped up for every season, year after year, to compete with each other. They were second and third at Nationals last year. They're ranked second and third going into this season. And this year is no different. They're packed full of talent. These teams between the two of them have done it all. They have so many national titles, individual titles, team titles, SEC titles. And Alabama last year came in second with a team full of freshmen. Now they've got some experience, and they're really ready to compete right now. Georgia, on the other hand, they have 18 gymnasts on their squad, six of them seniors, and that's the amazing thing. These seniors don't have a team championship. They have everything else, but they are so fired up because they don't want to leave this school until they leave with a team national championship and a ring on their finger. Lots of honors, but no national championship at the moment. Florida is a program on the rise under second-year head coach Ron Defane. This team can do it. They've got a lot of talent. I have no doubt that Ron Defane will continue to do amazing things with this program. She's a great gymnast herself. She's very focused. She's an excellent coach, and she's trying to form the team. She's recruited some of her own athletes now. She's going to see a lot of freshmen on the Florida team today, so as anybody knows, it's hard to say how that will go. But as this team builds under Ronda Fain, society is going to be a great team. All right. Could one of the dark horses break through Oklahoma, Oregon State, or the University of Denver? We will find out. In the first rotation, however, Alabama and Georgia, they are ready to do battle. Coming up next. Welcome back to the 2004 Super 6 Challenge set for the first rotation. Georgia on vault, Alabama on bars, Oklahoma on beam. The University of Denver starts on the floor, Oregon State and Florida with a bye. All right, we're going right to the bars. We start with Alabama's star, Ashley Miles. She's 5'7", a sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, and she can fly. Absolutely. This is a great event for Alabama, and as I said in the opening, Alabama really looks more meat-ready than they do usually this early in the season, and I, I think it's because they get a full team of freshmen. Now they're still one of the youngest teams in the nation. But they have more experience, they took a shorter break, came in really wanting to be at their top. Ashley Miles, very consistent for head coach Sarah Patterson. Patterson now in her 26th season with four national championships. She's the first female coach to ever be inducted into the Alabama Hall of Fame. And one thing you have to say about both Georgia and Alabama, regardless of who they have on their team, they have strong programs. They've figured out how to get gymnastics, you know, into college and doing very well at the collegiate level. She can really play on this event. She is so strong. She uses much more strength and dynamic on this event. Say, whoa! Take that hand and almost went over. We see much more parity in collegiate women's gymnastics now. The teams are much more even in terms of their level. Whoa. Oh, that's a shame. That's the kind of mistake you see early in the season where you're not quite in routine shape. She got a little tired toward the end. There's a nice big release move. And just couldn't quite pull this around. Double layout. 
Going for more difficulty now. Just couldn't quite get her feet underneath. Very confident a year ago, 24 of 28 routines. She hit a 9.9. .9. So continuing with Alabama on the bars, Brittany Como, 5'3", freshman. Trained at Elite Gymnastics in Baton Rouge. Five-time national qualifier. She's ready to go. It's going to be an interesting competition. That's what most of the coaches told me. When it's this early in the season and they do have a lot of freshmen, it's hard to predict how they'll react in the competition, how they'll warm up. And it takes several meets into the season to really get the endurance up to, to complete full routine. Six women compete. They use the five best scores. So if you have a stumble, like Ashley Miles, you want to be able to throw that out and have five good performances following her. We can talk to Nebraska about that. Last year's Nationals, they had the high score in the preliminaries, but then in the finals they had two falls in one event, dropped them completely. Miles scores a 9.3. Ashley Miles a 9.3, so obviously Bamba would like to drop that one. Very nice. Perfect height and distance. Judges are really looking for all these handstand moves to hit directly in vertical. Anytime they're a little bit short, they don't do that pirouette right on top of the bar. Good landing. There would be a slight deduction if they're not right in that vertical position in their handstand. A lot more handstands now to hit. That was the best part of the routine. Just perfect distance. Where she could reach out, arms perfectly straight, double front dismount, legs a little bit apart, and slightly staggered on the landing. But gets Alabama back on track. Solid routine for Brittany Como. So Georgia starts on vault. Here is Ashley Miller, 5'4", sophomore from Broadhead, Pennsylvania. When I spoke with Suzanne before the competition, I mean, she has 18 gymnasts that she can just play with this lineup. They're about nine deep on every event. And so she really wanted to get her freshmen into the competition early in the season to get them some experience and then rely on the upperclassmen later in the season. Jamie Ackerman got a 9.775 to lead off. Smith right behind her got a 9.75. So now the third woman in the rotation, Ashley Miller. Como got a 9.875. Very popular ball from collegiate gymnastics. It's a Rachinko with a full twist. Worth a 10.0. It has been upgraded each about two years ago, upgraded it to a 10.0, so many of the gymnasts are opting to do this vault. It's a good one to really try and get a stuck landing. You see the landing much longer, right as you drop it in. She over-rotates and takes a big step. Miller, in her first uh, vault a year ago, got a 9.8 in her Super 6 debut. We'll give you her score, score in a moment. Here is Marlene Stevens, and what a story she is. She missed the entire season a year ago with an Achilles tendon injury. She has just come back. She was a first-team All-American in 2002. Miller got a 9-7, and here goes Stevens. This must feel really great, getting back into competition after such a long layoff. Beautiful vault in the air. One of the best Kirchenko pulls in collegiate gymnastics. Nice height. Not a perfect landing, but again, considering the injury she's coming back from, that will be the last thing to really come back, being able to nail those landings, because you really have to drill those feet into the mat. It's going to be a little bit protected. Two years ago, she was the NCAA vault champion. She still says that it hurts a little bit here and there, but she is a wonderful re-addition to this Georgia Gym Dog team. So Marlene Stevens, the senior from Houston, Texas, out all of last year, and now we move to Ashley Coupets, the freshman from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Her sister, Courtney, of course, the USA Gymnast of the Year a couple of years ago, world champion on bars. How's Ashley on ball? Very good gymnast. Completely different than Courtney. She's very, very on, strong Ashley. and powerful. Come on, just a good speed. Low on that landing, huge step forward. 
to a pretty big deduction on that. She wanted more lift Woo. off of the horse. You really have to time your block and get the exact position as you come into the horse, and it's a more difficult position to achieve on that type of ball. And that's a huge deduction right there. Giant giant step forward. We can tell you Marlene Stevens got a 9.875, so four outstanding vaults so far for Georgia. We'll see what Coupette gets. So Georgia off to a great start on vault. Suzanne Yachlin, of course, is the head coach for Georgia. Jay Clark, Julie Ballard-Clark, the assistant coaches. 